Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture of Beirut and Mount Lebanon. We're going to see today how we have transformed our traditional services into digital services. First of all, uh, the Chamber of Commerce is a non-for-profit uh, organization working for the public uh, benefits. It was uh, established in 1887. It has a membership roster of around 15,000 member companies active in a different sector of activities, of Lebanese sector of activities. Within its mission, uh, the Chamber intervenes at both levels, at the macroeconomic level and at the microeconomic level mainly at the macroeconomic level to defend the interest of the business community and at the microeconomic level to provide its services. So at the macroeconomic level, uh, the Chamber plays a role as an advisory between uh, the private sector and the government and the formulation of new policies or new procedures. Also, it's very active in the process of free trade agreement uh, with EU, with the Arab world, and with the other like WTO, Mercosur, Turkey, and the others. Also, it's considered like a uh, dialogue for plat or platform for dialogue between the private sector and the government. In terms of uh, at the microeconomic level, uh, it intervenes usually by providing its wide uh, array of services. The Chamber provides services related to the councillor services like uh, the operation inside the Chamber, issuance of certificate of origin, authentication of documents, etc., issuing of uh, ATA carnet or tier carnet. Also the Chamber is uh, very active uh, in the development project with the US, with USAID and with UNIDO. We have a business delegation center that uh, organize uh, delegation and trade fairs. We have an arbitration and mediation center that uh, for conflict resolution, it solves conflict resolution and commercial disputes. We have also a business training center mainly focusing on training for SMEs and an economic resource center providing trade statistic and market information. So in line with the new uh, strategy of the newly elected board of members, we have started in restructuring our internal organization in order to modernize our services. The modernity started in 2010. It was backed up with the high community and the support of uh, the board of directors. So uh, our main objective were always to increase efficiency and transparency. Uh, we have started to build new support departments like audit, like uh, call center, a maintenance department and others. And uh, on another hand, we have reinforced our uh, IT department with the adequate means in order to cope the new digital approach. The digital approach consisted of the creation of uh, internal online application and external online application in addition to the use of the already available e-services on the market. The intranet uh, is divided mainly in two sections. There is one section for the administration request and another section for the formalities management. The intranet also has uh, two sections. On the right, uh, we have informative part in which we can post information about uh, memos, HR document, policies, and others. And in the upper section, uh, it shows uh, the possible services available inside the intranet. It uh, was to say that the internet was developed so in-house, it was released in 2011. The strategic objective were to enhance the internal flow, to ensure transparency and good governance, and to reduce paper use and save the environment. While the operational objective were to have a link between the chamber management and the staff, and also between uh, the headquarters and the branches. So the administrative application included in our extran in our intranet are the HR management system that manages HR, leave management, uh, attendance management, etc. The procurement management that handles the purchase orders, the internal stock management that uh, controls the stock in use by our employees, the calendar management which is a multi-level uh, calendar. Uh, the online, and also online requests in which our, uh, some department can request services from other departments electronically. 
So uh, here you will see the process workflow of the HR management. The leave is sent from the employee to the manager. The manager then forwarded to the HR, and then it will be logged inside the HR database. The punching system uh, records the punch in and punch out of our employees and also stores them in the same database. So both systems work together in order to uh, generate a report, uh, a consolidated report that it will be transferred to the accounting department at the end for the salary calculation and payroll. The purchase order management, uh, it includes uh, services related to our employees uh, by which they can request uh, a purchase order. The purchase order are transferred. Uh, the employee usually should bring three offers coming from uh, three different suppliers. So he should use the system and send his request toward the director general. The director general has two options, whether to approve or reject a certain uh, a purchase order. If approved, it will be transferred to the employee informing him that his offer was approved. There is no need anymore for signature, so the director general does not need anymore to sign any purchase order. His online approval is sent via email to the concerned employee. The employee in his turn will uh, group the purchase order with the invoice together and will send them together to the accounting department for disbursement. The calendar management, it includes a multi-level calendar in which we can uh, see what's happening in the chamber in a certain day with access levels and permissions. So the formalities management is one of the main core activities of the chamber. We have created like a virtuous space between uh, the headquarter and the branches. So any operation uh, performed at a certain branch is directly reflected at the other branch and vice versa. The operation mainly are those related to new membership, renewal of membership, uh, certificate of origin request, etc. We have also extended our CRM database system in order to uh, allow uh, more communication with our customers. We have added information related to the concerned person inside the member institution and not necessarily those authorized to sign. By law, we have to uh, store information about the authorized to sign on behalf of the company. So, we have added the database to our database information, other information related to who's the director general, who's the HR, who are the sales people, etc., and our member institutions. So, the service management is also one of the parts of the formalities management, in which we have added uh, the steps and uh, uh, the uh, let's say the status of any transaction realized at our branches. So, as you can see in this example. The service ID is right now at the membership stamp uh, level. Also, we are developing reports and statistics on a regular basis. Uh, those reports help a lot the organization in taking the needed uh, decision related to uh, the allocation of employees and resources, report related to the number of operations per day, number of operations per hour, uh, peak time, peak hours, peak days, etc. In terms of internal audit, our main focus was always to fight corruption and to ensure the good governance. So we have created an audit team that controls all the operations coming from all the branches in an electronic way. Uh, we're going to see in the next slide uh, the whole flow about the audit department and his intervention in the middle of the operation. So the member usually, uh, member بيوصل على الغرفة بياخد من الكيوينج سيستم رقم هيدا الرقم اوتوماتيك ما بيحطه عند اقرب واحد قريب عليه واللي فاضي يعني ما عنده حدا قدامه عم يشتغل هو اياه اون فوا وصل لعنده للاوبريتر هون في عم يعتبر انه صار في انيشيشن للترانزاكشن وبلشت الترانزاكشن بتصير تنتقل الترانزاكشن من عند الاوبريتر لعند الكنترولر لعند المانجر كلها الكترونيكلي كل العملية كلها عم تنتقل الكترونيك ما لحين انه توصل على ليفل المانجر، المانجر هو بيتعاطى مع الاودت بالعمليات، يعني عم نحكي نحن عن العمليات الاساسية تبع الغرفة اللي هي طلب انتساب جديد، طلب ترفيع، طلب كشف اتسترا، العمليات هيدي اغلبها بتقطع بالاودت ديبارتمنت تيوافق عليه ولا لا، هلا في عمليات ثانية ما بتكون بدها اودت ديبارتمنت، بتكون عمليات نوعا ما سهلة هذه العملية الثانية بنعمل عليها راندوم تشيك فروم تايم تو تايم، بنعمل سيلكشن راندوملي وبيشيكوا عليها الاودت وبيحطوا رأيهم بالعملية. سو so من بعد ما يكون اجت الموافقة 
الاوبريتر عندنا بيعملوا اصدار للشهاده الشهاده بنختمها وبنعطيها لصاحب العلاقه هو ظاهر من الغرفه باللحظه اللي بيدفع فيها الوصل بالغرفه بيكون وصله اس ام اس وصله ايميل بالمبلغ اللي دفعه والتفاصيل تبع المعامله تبعه سو so, uh, كمان هون على السريع رح احكي فيهم uh, غيرنا الستامب تبعنا من انك uh, ستامب كنا عم نستعمله لبي في سي ديستراكتيف ستامب يعني اليوم نحن هذا البي في سي ديستراكتيف وانس لزقناه على دوكيومون جربنا نشيله بينخزق وما بي, ما فينا نستعمله بقى مره ثانيه زدنا هولوجرافيك لوجو على كل شهاداتنا وزدنا كيو ار كود رح ننتقل على الاكسترا نت يلي هي مالي احد اهم سيرفيسات عندنا اياها بالغرفه هي بتسمح للامبلويد للممبرز تبعونا يعملوا معاملاتهم اونلاين عم نحكي معاملاتهم اونلاين يعني عم بيقدموا معاملاتهم من مركز عملهم على عنا على الغرفه نحن بالغرفه عام راجع الملف تبعهم عم نقول لهم هي ترى صحيحه المعامله ولا مانا صحيحه وفي حال كانت صحيحه المعامله عم نقول له اوكي تفضل تعال على الغرفه تفعل فيز اللي عليك في الفيتشرز اللي ممكن يعملها اذا كان عم يدفع عم يعمل عمليته اونلاين هي كثير مهمه رح نشوفها بالسلايد الثانيه يلي فيها عم نشوف صاحب العلاقه من مركز عمله عم بيعبي اونلاين الطلب الغرفه عم بترجع له طلبه فيها ترد عليه يا تقول له اوكي يا تقول له صلح شيء بملفك اذا كانت اوكي الاوريجينالز مفروض يجيبهم على الغرفه لانه لهلا ما في اي سيجنتشر لو بالغرفه سو so بالغرفه وبلبنان اوف سو so صاحب العلاقه حيجيب الدوكيومنت لنا على الغرفه في يدفع يا كاش يا في يدفع اونلاين السيرفيسز اللي عندنا اياهم بالاكسترا ان سيرفيسز لدائره الانتساب وسيرفيسز لدائره التصديقات اوكي الخدمات اللي عندنا اياها اللي بتتعلق بدائره التصديقات هي تصديق فاتوره طلب شات منشا للدول العربيه طلب شات منشا للانترناشونال طلب المنشا للانترناشونال كما انه كمان بتسمح لنا انه ندفع الفيز اللي عندنا اياها بهيدي السكرين الشهادة بتتعبى بطريقة كتير ايزي كتير شبيهة بالشهادة اللي بين ايديهم لأصحاب العلاقة يعني ان فاكت هي نفس السكرين اللي معه اياها بين ايديه هو عم بيعبيها اونلاين اوكي بالانتساب الجديد هو احد اهم سبب وجود الاكسترا نت نحن اليوم بالاكسترا نت اذا بده يجي واحد ينتسب بالغرفة بده يجيب دوكيومنت هالدوكيومنت ممكن تكون صالحة ممكن ما تكون صالحة ممكن يكون في عنده شيء ميسنج بالدوكيومنت تبعه عم يبعثهم اونلاين الغرفة عم بتشيك له اياهم لهالدوكيومنت وعم بتقول له اوكي مزبوطين هول الطلبات ولا مش مزبوطين، وإذا في شيء غلط عم بتقول له في شيء غلط صححه ورجع ابعته مرة ثانية. بيجي المنتسب على الغرفة عارف إنه كل طلبه موافق عليه مسبقا وآخذ عليه موافقة وما بده غير بيجي بعملية خمسة دقايق بكون مضى الطلب قدام موظفين الغرفة وأخذ الدوكيومنت تبعه. سو so بليز نكست Uh, we have added also a verification tool that allows any public administration, custom authority, or other to check the authenticity of any issued certificate from the Beirut Chamber. فينا نعمل check up directly على الحياة العملية قاطعة عنا. فينا نشوف الشهادة اللي بين إيدينا المطبوعة إذا هي زي الشهادة يلي مسيفة عنا بقلب السيستم إذا منا falsified وما حدا مغير فيها شيء. Next please. Okay, we're exchanging data with external parties, mainly مع Liban Post و مع النافعة يعني اسم التسجيل الخاص لأنه من تسبيننا بيصدروا بعد ما يحصلوا على شهادة انتساب من الغرفة بيروحوا على النافعة تيحصلوا من هنيك على Transport of Good License يعني رخصة نقل للأيتمز اللي هن بيتاجروا فيهم. Okay, we're very active in other e-application and services. We have an asset management solution. All our assets are labeled and uh, with RFID tags. We're doing two times per year uh, inventories. Uh, our publication are no more on paper. We have transformed them into digital flipping book publications. Uh, we're building our new mobile app. It should be released in the coming uh, months. It will include part of the extranet and other parts of the website. We have a business directory. It's Lebanon business directory in which all our members are listed based on a codification system called NACE code, which is a European standard for codification. And uh, we're active on social media and uh, we're inviting you here to follow us on other social media channels. <laughs>
Dziękuję.